Scorpio, welcome back to our Enigma Scorpio channel. This is my newest channel for all the ones that are in Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or Mercury in Scorpio or dealing with one. This is meant for everybody out there and um, do subscribe to my channel so that it helps you guys to reach out to more people and with great advice and uh, yep also you do subscribe to my main channel which is i enigma the link is given below where i do all the rest of the signs and um, for hindi channel you can subscribe to my hindi channel as well and if you want to be a part of my 100k on youtube giveaway then uh, you can join my instagram you can also check out monthly free horoscopes on my instagram don't miss out on that and uh, personal readings are available on uh, WhatsApp, Instagram, or email, wiper based spells, or you can reach out for intention crystals. That's enough. Now, let's see what's going to happen for your Scorpio. What's happening? What is coming? What's happening? Everything. I'm going to check that out. Oh, Knight of Swords. You're, someone, you're on someone's mind, that's for sure. Okay. I feel this person is not thinking good thoughts about you or their thoughts are just racing about you so much that they're in panic and this person cannot think of losing hold on you. So that I feel like this person is chasing you and they're about to message you or something on those lines. <clears throat> oh, you're not talking to them. Who is it? I feel like Scorpio, initially they were the one that was not talking to you, was keeping mum and was pushing you away or... They thought that you're going to come begging for this person, but didn't happen. You started to work on your goals. I feel like those goals were like your life. And I, I'm seeing you doing better. I'm seeing your income, something about your like a salary, you're saving money and your income is growing. You might be getting promotions after promotions. It's like you're growing, but there's someone that is like, oh my gosh, I need to stop them because they're surpassing me. They're getting better than me. And I'm just, just feeling so jealous. At one point of time, I feel you were in love with this person or you offered this love and this person kind of <clears throat> started to treat you like a doormat and had been pretty on and off with you, had been cheering on you with other people. And now that you've started to, you know, focus on yourself, avoid this person and live your own life in your own terms, this person is getting jealous. Like how the hell is the Scorpio living their life without me? So yeah someone is like that around you could be a capricorn there's one message that i'm getting for you scorpio do not discuss your plans with anyone okay keep it secret right now what you're doing scorpio is just loving yourself you're in your own energy you're just living your life the way you want to be and i feel you just are in that you're in the moment where you you don't really care about a thing you're enjoying the present moment okay Every little um, moment uh, currently that you're experiencing is close to your heart. So you're just enjoying it. And I feel like you might be also looking great. You may be doing some extra work on your body as well, on your diet, on your hair, on your work. It's like you want to get better than what you were before. You're working on yourself, okay? Someone is very jealous of why the Scorpio is focusing on themselves and not me hello it's not our duty right so i am seeing you're about to uh, manifest a relationship you're about to manifest a commitment um it takes time everything takes time so you know understand that you have to prepare yourself before you reach into this point of um commitment i'm seeing a lot of stability is also coming into your life there's a lot of comfort financial independence i'm seeing you growing i'm seeing you feeling more confident but yes, there is someone that is very jealous of this. <clears throat> okay. And this person is wanting to chase you so that you get your attention back to them. But it's like you're moving. You're moving forward. You're moving forward. They want your love. I feel like there's someone. We are, yes, we're going to go. We're going to uh, move towards new love. Let us go by sequence. Okay. It's interesting. Just stick around. So what I'm seeing here is that this person is losing your love and this is something that they're not accepting it. They can't see you giving this love offer to someone else. They want your love offer. And now that you've moved on to something more stable, they can see you being with someone new, being with someone else. 
you are about to attract someone in love towards you and i feel this person is like okay i want their love they cannot give this love to anyone else this is my trophy so say they want your trophy they want you like a trophy to this person and they want you okay in short <clears throat> king of swords see i was telling you this is someone that doesn't have good intentions it's more like um they see this love like a game i feel you're dealing with someone that sees things like a game once they have you they're gonna go back to how they were so this is someone maybe some of you need still need a clarity that whether this person is still having emotions for you even if they're crying off crying for you even if they have emotions for you i would say this is something that's based on their selfish need once their selfish need is satisfied they're gonna switch back to the cold self which is not cool okay so right now you come from the place of love your heart is warming and this person comes from a place of cold stone and they want you to give them warmth so they're longing for that and nothing more than that okay and we have six of cups see there's a complete confirmation that someone from the past is trying to reach out to you expect a message or a call from someone from the past i'm sorry but you have to you know see so i'm seeing yes there's a message coming in Ooh, nine of swords one more please nine of pentacles this person is losing control over you and this is making them go crazy like anything. This person is going mad over the fact that you don't give a shit and you're moving forward and there's more to your life than putting efforts on someone like this. Okay? So I feel like you don't give them that kind of importance that you once gave. And this gives them a lot of stress, anxiety, panic and low self-esteem they're feeling so stressed out worth waiting for express your love you at one point of time really wanted to express your feelings to this person but i feel like now is the time where you're gonna be taking revenge on this person because when they reach out to you you're going to spill out everything that hurt you the way they made you feel you're going to spill everything on them you've started to love yourself more than anything and you keep yourself above anything else above this person especially and that is what is making this person go crazy okay five of wands scorpio what's happening guys ten of wands i'm sorry i'm getting the energy of this person again this person wants to have control over you okay and i feel like they are struggling with their emotions they are having their own fight they are mentally fighting with themselves that no the scorpio is still mine the scorpio is still mine i have to have them i can't let them go someone is just going crazy that's stupid actually but yeah that is what it is death this person is not ready to accept the fact that you've ended this chapter and how come you did do that because maybe they have not come across this kind of rejection in their life ever before but when you put a full stop on this person you've ended the situation moved towards positive transformation you started growing and now that you've growing this person is realizing what they are and what you are they're realizing your worth and this is making them crazy I'm seeing another Scorpio or a Leo coming in. For some of you, there was a Scorpio that you were dealing with that hurt you. Ooh, there's a new love offer. Six of Pentacles. I'm seeing a new job offer, new love offer. Okay, you might not be interested in these new options. But what I'm seeing right now is you're more focused about your money. You're too busy. Um, and your career means a lot to you these days. But I'm also seeing you might be uh, having some trust issues when someone new comes into your life. Initially, it's going to be a little tough. But I'm seeing a proposal, maybe Cancer coming in, Libra coming in. Some of you, you might have two job offers. You may need to choose between. Oh, the next person that comes into your life is the one that uh, you're going to say yes to. And this person is someone that's going to be like proposing you for marriage. Oh my gosh. What are you doing, Scorpio? Are you going to reject someone's marriage proposal? <laughs> and you're feeling proud of it. What is it? 
uh scorpio i feel like there's a marriage proposal coming in and uh, you may be rejecting it but i would suggest you to give it a second thought because you might not see what this person actually is before you actually get to know them on a deeper level scorpio please your major wish is coming true and you don't realize this. Oh, someone is falling in love with your heart. I feel like there's this new person that's going to propose you for marriage and you might end up rejecting them or you might be uh, questioning them or testing them too much. So this is an advice to you. Don't do that. Okay. That might come off as a little rude, stubborn and disinterested. Your person is going to be full of love. I feel there's someone that's it's going to give you their all and you're the best thing in their life. This new person is going to treat you like you're the only person they've ever known. I wish I could take my back. Take my words back. If you reject this new person coming into your life, you would suffer. I'm telling you. There's someone that's going to offer you a lot of love. Maybe you need to give them at least a chance to express them towards, ex express themselves to you. Because you might not do that. And then later realize, okay, this is something big I let go of. So here there is a warning, Scorpio. child the warning could be that this person has a child from the past for some of you this could be a long distance relationship maybe you don't want something that's long distance these are certain options i'm telling you about what might stress you out about this person some of you this person is oops uh financially not secure insecure so any of these options might put you in deep uh, uh, thought and you might reject them i feel this this job thing is not possible much possible but what i'm seeing is more strongly that maybe it's because it's a long distance or it is that this person has a child from the past courage Scorpio. Compromise. See, very strongly I'm getting this. Your person might not come with a complete package. For some of you, this could be very specific, guys. Take it easy, okay? Or certain parts may not resonate because some people are like, no, I want the best, this, that, blah, blah. But what I'm seeing is that some of you have a have a fear of commitment. If that is so, have courage. Some of you don't want to settle down for something less. I think you need to have courage to at least get to know the person or allow the person to, you know, express themselves to you. Because if you don't do it, if you keep your expectations too high, it's going to become a never-ending story. It's going to like go round and round and round. You're going to end up meeting all the players, never get committed, never find true love, never get married. And this is serious. So maybe God sent uh, today's message to you to let you know something more serious than something that was more like a fairy tale. So that you can live your life in a fairy tale style but still be serious about certain aspects about your partner or life. So here I am seeing your person. It's going to be extremely loving, but there's something about them that you might not like. Think things in a balanced way. That's something I'm seeing. I'm also seeing this could be a Virgo, maybe older or has... Oh, this person could be Virgo or... Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, but what I'm seeing is this person's going to be full of love, very romantic, but they like their me time more. I feel you're dealing with someone that's more of an introvert, but they are extremely romantic, hopeless romantic, hopeless romantic. Tell me more, could be Virgo. 
they might feel a little afraid of you testing them too much. They may get a little insecure or they may feel low confidence when they find out that you're still testing them. So don't be harsh on them, please. Okay. Scorpio. Hermit. Hermit again. So what I'm seeing is this person, someone that is extremely intelligent and wise beyond their age. But they might be too boring for you or like they might be someone that is like an introvert and doesn't want to mix up with people more. That might put you in deep thoughts like uh, am I interested? But when you try to get to know this person on a deeper level, you give them one chance. You'll see this person's full of excitement, love, adventure. That was all hidden behind that outer ex exterior side of them. Yeah, I feel like uh, you may not find it nice, but your person has gone through a major heartbreak or a failure in love in a relationship in the recent past that has made them a little distant and detached and hurt. They might when you meet this person, they may still be in this feeling of um, hurt or being rejected or having a failed past relationship you have to ignite that flame in them i feel like you are the one that's going to bring them back to life when it comes to the love aspect love area magician you will be like a magician in this person's life you're going to change this person's life so magically around that they're going to be saying thanks to the universe a million zillion times to have you to have had you in their life so it's like you are going to be magically turning their life around you're their major wish and you're someone that once they have they'll never let you go no matter what happens no matter where the universe goes you will still be with them for them they'll be with you so this is your soulmate and this is the one that's meant for you gemini energy libra gemini aquarius also you guys were meant to be together. I feel like you're going to change this life, person's life in such a different way that you guys, oh my gosh, it's like unbelievable. I feel if you want someone certain way, you have you first have to be one, right? You can't be like a certain way and want someone to be very, very much better than you. So your person is going to be your own reflection. So what you want is first you, what you need to become, okay? Your person could be a lawyer or a judge. So, but I'm seeing definitely you guys will love each other and there will be a lot of fairness and honesty between you guys. You were longing for this, isn't it? The kind of fairness this person is giving you. You were longing for this. Any last messages? I'm seeing 2023 is going to be a life changer for you. A game changer for you, sorry. Judgment. Time to make a decision to choose this person. Yeah, you might freak out initially. You may be in this double-minded energy. So here is a message for you whenever this happens. Keep these words in your mind. So that's about it, Scorpio. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what else you want me to speak about. And uh, follow my Instagram. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.